Welcome back. You're tuned into Basad Morning Call. Well, uh, as promised, let's get straight uh, to our first management on the show. Granules India, that's the first corporate we're interacting with today. The company's quarter four revenue growth was above what the street was working with. Margins were more or less in line. Mr. Krishna Prasad Chigurupati, the chairman and managing director of the company, joins us on the show. Good morning, Mr. Chigurupati. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. Well, a couple of questions first on the outlook for FI24. I know there are various verticals. But on the whole, last year, you did it on 4,500 crores. What kind of a growth number you're looking at? And keeping that in the backdrop, is the price erosion, most of it behind us now? What can you guide for in terms of a growth and margin outlook for FI24? The growth, as we expect, well, last five years, we've been doing a CIGR of about more than 20%. We expect to keep that up and uh, going forward in the next few years too. And uh, regarding margin expansion, the, the price erosion in the U.S. seems uh, to have uh, reduced and seems prices are stabilizing. For some of the products, uh, people have stopped uh, production. Uh, but for some of our products, the uh, situation is slightly different. But we expect this year prices will stabilize. We may not see too much erosion. Uh, and price ex uh, margin expansion may happen or will happen uh, from newer products and newer launches. We expect quite a decent launches this year in FY24, and I think they will contribute a little margin ex uh, expansion. We cannot what is remember the number? today, but we see okay. the margins increasing a little bit. It'll be better than last year though. Last year did 20%, so a little better than last year? Uh, yes, I expect, fractionally better. Okay, that smile on your big smile on your face says it all that the margins will be better perhaps. Uh, got that, Mr. Chigurpati. Good morning and thanks for joining us. You know your uh, performance in the paracetamol space was very strong this time. Uh, can you tell us what was the pricing like in terms of paracetamol uh, API and the finished dosages in this quarter? And you've been guiding for a double-digit growth in this space over the next two to three years. Is that something that you hold on to? Can you give us some numbers? I uh, cannot give you any numbers, but definitely there's going to be decent growth. And paracetamol, we have been in this product for more than 30 years, uh, 35, 37 years. And we clearly are the world leaders today. We are the largest manufacturers of this product. We sell into uh, many, many innovative uh, brand companies. Uh, each country's uh, leading manufacturers buy from us. And today, the growth in paracetamol is driven mostly by not only volume of the API, but by the value added products like PFIs and finished dosages. So finished dosages constitute more than 50% of our total paracetamol sale. And this is what uh, we expect will give us a steady business. And the expansions we are planning in paracetamol, today we have 30% uh, of the world market. And we expect to go to uh, at least 50% uh, in the next few years. Okay, so uh, you're saying you expect to go from 30% to 50%, but can you tell us what was the pricing like in the paracetamol API? I mean, some trends that you can give us. And also coming back to, you know, the question that Nigel was asking, there was a price erosion uh, that you saw in, in Q3 of over 10%. Uh, what was it like in Q4 and has the price erosion subsided compared to what you've seen in the preceding quarters? Yes, let me answer the price erosion first. Yes, it, it has subsided. And it has not come to zero, but it has come down. And this year, we expect that definitely uh, the erosion may stop. I cannot say the prices will go up. And again, the prices are just a, 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 for paracetamol are a function of the raw material prices. Raw material prices across the world have come down. And so did the prices uh, of the finished product. Margins continue to be the same. Okay. Uh, last, last quarter and last year, we, most of our growth in paracetamol was driven by API because we did an expansion of API and that takes a while to convert into FDs and PFIs. So as we go forward, as we convert more paracetamol into FDs, we see uh, margin creeping up and pricing going up too. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Prasad, good morning. Uh, let's just start good with, uh, just go to uh, CAPEX, right? I mean, you are saying that you will now spend 700 crores in uh, CAPEX uh, in F524, uh, yes. that is uh, a substantial increase uh, from what uh, the market knew earlier. Could you tell us, uh, uh, you know, what will this take the net debt to 
uh, in uh, in F524. Where do you see it uh, going? And are you entering a capex heavy period over the next three or four years? Uh, if you can give us some uh, sort of broader perspective as well. Uh, for 24, out of the 700 uh, crores which we are planning, 250 crores will go for the green initiative, which is a major, major step for granules, and we expect to see a lot of benefits out of this. And 250 crores will go for the formulation plant, which uh, will be uh, getting completed uh, within this year, and that will add another 8 billion uh, dosage capacity to the existing 24 billion capacity, and 200 is going to be for regular capex. And as we go by, we see capex. Uh, uh, increasing to decent levels, maybe around the same level or maybe a little lesser. But the funding for the CapEx, most of it will be going into the green initiatives. We've already said that 2,000 crores has been earmarked for uh, the green initiative over the next five years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, however, the even though we are quite confident of our uh, cash flows, we had decent cash flow last year and we expect decent cash flows going forward too. We are confident that our cash flows will be able to take out, take care of the capex. Last right. year, in, after I, the capex, we had a little free cash. Yeah. However, uh, in, in spite of being capable of investing ourselves, we are looking at options. A lot of investors, a lot of uh, funds, and uh, different organizations have approached us for funding on easy credit terms because it's a green initiative, and a lot of people are also interested in participating in equity. So as we go forward, we'll weigh our options. And we may not really uh, use our free cash to so, fund this. All right. So, sir, a couple of things you're saying. Uh, so, over the next, so there's this, a 2,000 crore number over the next couple of years. Is that uh, is, is that in the ballpark? Next five years. In terms of, next five sorry, years. Next five years, 2,000 crores green, of... CapEx for green initiative. Okay. Okay. 2,000 oh. crores over the next five years for green initiatives. And you're saying that you may fund this by selling some uh, selling some stake. There are people who are Possibly. interested. You could do some equity and dilution the right in the it. company, in granules. No, 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 no. In the, in the we have a subsidiary company for the green initiative. It's called Granules C0, which is carbon zero, which is right. only focused on green. And that is right. the company we may dilute a little bit of uh, uh, state if required and if we get the right valuation. And we may okay. use some of the low cost funding for long term mm. debt. And our uh, short-term debt in the parent company will come down because we don't have to fund the green initiative. Net right, debt so will be the same. Consolidated level will be always less than, net debt EBITDA will always be less than one. Okay. okay. All right. Just to clear the air, so the net debt is sub 800 crores. It will continue to remain sub 800 crores, right? Around 800 crores. Today it's around 800 crores. 8 Got yeah. it. And and to clear the air on the equity raising, it will be in this subsidiary of yours, not in the parent. Or is there a pos outside That's chance right. that you could dilute at the parent as well? No, no, no way. Not Absolutely no. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chigurupati, just before we let you go, you know, on if you look, if you map the last five years for the company, it's been a very strong performance that you've seen, a revenue growth in excess of 22%, EBITDA growth of almost 27%. What could the next five years look like? Is this a model that you can replicate or do you think it could get better in terms of compounded growth? We think uh, we will be able to maintain this and there is a possibility of growing better, but we'll see as we go by so many initiatives which we are taking, which could yield uh, uh, fantastic results, but let's see as we go by. The green is something we are banking on in addition to whatever we are doing in the parent company. We are coming up with uh, high technology APIs and high technology complex uh, formulations. So we are very hopeful, but uh, let's wait and see. Okay, we will uh, let you go on that note. Thank you as always for joining in and speaking to CNBC TV 18. Appreciate your thoughts. Uh, that's Granules India, very confident about the future. They say that price erosion in the US has also reduced. It's stabilizing now and growth rates will be about 20% compounded over the next few years. They will